Hey there, I'm Jacob with the SD1. This is Fire Pup. We're here to teach you about fire prevention and how to be safe in case there's an emergency. Fire Pup, that's not a toy. That's a match. We're not supposed to play with matches. Don't we ever touch matches, right? A match is a tool. And tools are only used by adults. So if you ever see a tool laying around, you want to give it to an adult. Just say, hey, look, it's over there. Can y'all go get it so we don't mess with it? Pick out a toy for me, okay? All right, let's see if you can get it. I don't know if you can. Oh. Do it. That's right. Way to go, Firepuff. Y'all give him a round of applause. Firepuff found a toy. It's a fire truck. And he plays with it all the time, which is okay because it's a toy, so you can play with it. The first thing you do is only if your clothes catch on fire. Stop. So stop moving, stop walking, stop running. You're gonna cover your face. You're gonna drop to the ground, get all the way down, and you're gonna roll back and forth, back and forth. Good job, fire button. Now roll back. Awesome, way to go. Now you're gonna keep rolling until the fire is completely out. Alright, way to go, fire button. Dance around. So his number is a nine. This number is a one, and this number is a one. That's the number you dial in case of an emergency. So what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna show you what that looks like on a telephone so that you'll know what to do. That's right, here's the nine. That's the first number you're gonna push. That's right, good job, Firebug. One is right here, so your order is gonna go nine, one, one, and you're going to hit the phone at the very bottom. You hit that phone, you put it up next to your ear, and you wait until the operator says, 911, what's your emergency? And then you'll be able to tell them what you need help with and where your emergency is. Today, we're going to show you what it looks like to have a firefighter in all of this gear. Because when we show up to your house, we might have all of our boater gear over here. And it might look a little bit different, but well, we're still the same firefighters. This is Firefighter Cullen, and he's gonna put his fire gear on so that you'll be able to see what it looks like in case we show up to your house. So the first thing he's gonna put on is he's gonna put his foot. That's gonna protect his neck and his ears and the back of his head and the top of his head. Same firefighter, just got a foot on his head now. So the next thing he's gonna do, he's gonna kick off his other boots if he has them, and he's gonna slide his feet inside of his bumper. Now we keep our boots and our pants stored kind of silly, right? They're down below on top of the boots, and then we can jump in, pull our pants up, and that way we can get our gear really, really fast. Put the suspenders on. Now he's protected from his toes all the way up to his waist. The next thing he's going to do is he's going to put his bumper coat on. The bumper coat is what's going to protect his upper part of his body. It looks a lot like a winter jacket. It's a lot heavier and a lot thicker because it's supposed to protect us if we have to go inside of the house that's on fire. All right, so the next part is his mask. His mask is gonna protect his face and we're gonna be able to put our air packs into it and breathe clean air. Okay, so now he has all of his gear on and his face is being protected by his mask now. Same firefighter inside of his gear, just a little bit different with all of his gear on. All right, so the other thing that we need to protect is there's one more thing that's missing. The skin is showing one place. That's right, his hand. We need to put his gloves on. All right, so go ahead and get your gloves. Good job. All right, one hand is protected. Okay, good, where's the other glove? Is it on your pockets? Where did you, did you lose your gear? Where did, oh, fire pup! What are you doing? You can't, oh my gosh. He's always chewing on your gear. Oh, that's disgusting, fire pup. It's okay, we know you're still just a puppy. All right, so now his hands are protected with his gloves, right? So I think everything is protected 
head to toe from getting burned. There's one more piece of gear that we gotta protect. Or one more piece of gear that we gotta put on, and that's his helmet. That's right. So let's go ahead and get your helmet. That's gonna protect his head in case anything falls or it gets bonked on top of his head. All right, nice and tight. Okay, so his head is protected, right? His face is protected. His back of his neck and his ears has his hood on. He's got his bunker coat on. His gloves are protecting his fingers. His bunker pants are on. And his bunker boots are on. Now, is this the same firefighter that we saw before? That's right, this is Firefighter Cullen still. But he's just got all of his gear on to protect himself. There's nothing to be afraid of. Still the same firefighter.